Okay, like 2024, February 11, it's Sunday. Yeah, it's about 10 past 7 on my watch, and we're at the top of 9th Avenue in Dennetwood again. And we're going towards the George Dam behind the mountain, towards the east over there. Um, and this time we're going below the dam wall, um, perhaps have a swim depending on how hot it's going to get um, and some exploration and cliffing in the ravine over there and see what's what's what um, yeah any other news no other news weather's fine it might get a little bit warmer 26 degrees forecast maximum for today tomorrow's going to be a scorcher 37 forecast that I've heard yeah, so here we go. Yeah. Okay, it's going on to 20 past 7. Here's the rubber line. We're going to the right hand side to the east. Where are the baboons? <laughs> what baboons? It's 20 past, and here's our turn off into the forest. Turn to the right here. Still shortly 20 post, past 20 post. Here's our Edelweiss Fukushima split. It's Fukushima back to the rubber line over there, and we're going to turn right down here. That's right. Can I get my stuff out? Yeah, just a moment. Let's just pass the split. Here's the the way to confusion towards our right hand side and we're going to the left. Here we go. 25 past 7. Here's our first stream crossing. And the stream is rather low. Okay, shall we go? Yeah, there we go. All right, let's see. I think this way is the safest. Loose rocks. Okay. Watch your footing. You can actually step in this water. It's not even so deep. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Oops. My stick went in. <laughs> All good. Fine. All good. There we go. All right. Around this way through the rocks. There, that's very low, that stream. Yeah. There we go. Some nice crunchy sounds you're getting there on your yes, recording. Yeah. Big, small rocks. Different to the railway ballast. <laughs> yes. From earlier. Off for seven. Uh, here's a route across the way. Uh, it's a, you, you're on it. You're on oh, it. It's a loose route. But um, here's the rejoinder from the way of confusion coming in from our right hand side. And we're going to the left. And then this is the three way split. It looks like they really want to take the long way today. We're going, we're not going up the hill on the right hand side. Oh. Okay. Um, on the left hand side, I mean. Oh, we're so going we're taking a different route. We're going down on the left on the right hand side here. Oh. That is a longer way though, but it's maybe a quicker way to the water. Yeah. Well I hope Carl, other Carl knows what he's doing. He knows the area quite well. Yeah, I know he knows as far as like the back of his hand. 25 to 8. Next stream. Yeah. 
Usually there's a lot more water here. Now the frogs are quiet. They're disturbing them. <laughs> mm -hmm. The water goes underneath the concrete bed. Oh, it's under the... See the water running under the road? Or under the pathway? Oh, there is. Down there, I can feel the drop. Yes. There's the water there. The frogs are shy. <laughs> Yep. 22.8 These um, rocks we're stepping down on look like they've actually been laid out like steps yeah. yeah That's why it's quite almost uniform Not as uniform as mall steps or but they're there <laughs> Yeah But it, it looks like they're not It's just natural Random rocks, yeah, they, they've yeah. been laid out in line. Okay, yeah. yeah. What a There's a little stream. On the left hand side, there's a, there's a big frog. Oh. There we go. Two of them calling each other. Sounds like they're doing construction work there by themselves. Yeah. That's how big they sound. Okay, here we go. Um, this rock might be slippery. Yeah. I'll, t I'll stop the recording for a while just now and then. Okay. When we have a lot of nature, I'll re this is good up, up this side. All right. And then, uh, it, it, well, I'll just take my phone out and push stop. That's all. All right. Going on to 10 to 8. And our next stream. This one is pretty much stagnant, looks like. We need some more rain. Yeah. So I think our river, by crossing by the dam, is going to be not very deep. Yeah, probably not. I don't have any water needed. Air control. Um, going on to 10 past 8 and here's the elephant bath crossing uh, coming down from the top on our left hand side going down the hill to the south and we're going straight ahead and it's about 10 past 8 here's our next stream this one's flowing a little bit stronger than the previous ones Step down. There we go. Let's see which would be easier. I think this is easier. Going across the bridge. The bridge is a little bit dilapidated, but um, it's still strong enough to to hold the weight. Two of us. Yep. Feel wild. And then we're going that way. I guess uh, so. Yeah, I heard them go off to the right. Yeah, there are some Broken. slats missing. Yeah, so I'm stepping on what I feel is wood. Yes. Ah, there we go. Here are two slats missing, so you step over. It's not it's not a long step, but it's holding. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And then stepping down here. Some slippery rocks, but okay. um, Let's try to avoid them to the left hand side here. There we go. Alright, that should be fine. And here's a root stepping down. Okay, cool. Oops, there we go. Okay, new battery and um, just past 20 past 8 on my watch. And here's a T junction with two track dirt road. Um, some hardy does in the distance. Going down to the right hand side, you can go to Pepsi Pools and the Garden Root Dam. Here, Cole, could you just wait here for a moment? I'm just going to walk around a bit. 
here's a landmark, here's a borehole, water running. This has been cleared up a little bit. And then down towards the right hand side here on the right hand side of the road, here's a cylindrical cement structure. This is a landmark that you need to watch out for because coming back, the way back home here to the left in the shot at the moment doesn't look like a main way to get back home but this is actually it I mean if you look at that there are branches across the way trees fallen over and it's it's a tiny little path compared to what you've been walking on in a two-track dirt road but uh, now we're going up the hill um, to the George Dam to the left hand side to the north Okay, 25 past 8, just a little way up the road, here's a turn off to our right, this goes to the Pepsi Pools, this is the shortcut to the Pepsi Pools, and then we're going up the hill. We could go swim there too. <laughs> yeah, we could go swim there. They are doing that to all the two guys not so long ago, yeah. coming this way out. Yeah. Five to nine. Cole, I'm just going to walk around a bit again. Okay, cool. And that's the way we've come. Here's a turn off to the left, I mean to the right, coming up the hill. And then here, up ahead, path splits three ways. I've never been, I can't remember being, oh, I might have, yes, okay, right. I have been along this way. Uh, at the three-way split at the very bottom, if you take the left-hand one up the hill, it comes out here. And then these two basically just go around the one way, go around the other way, but they end up in the same place. So eventually you get to the railway line. It's just a question of which way do you want to go. So I'm just going to check with the boss, find out which way we're going to go. So, sorry, can I interrupt quickly? Yeah. Which way are we going? Left or right? Right. We're going right. Quarter to nine, sorry. Here's a nice view of the mountains. We've got... Ah, we've got Van Dalen's Peak. Okay, so we've got Van Dalen's Peak pretty much ahead of us. It's very tiny on my screen here. I'm not sure whether I'm pointing at the right place. But there's Van Dalen's Peak with a cave. And behind it, that's George Peak, just above my finger, I can, I can see that. And then behind that wattle tree, there's Craddock Peak with the white trig beacon on top. And I'll zoom in when I edit the video. Pretty nice wide panoramic view. And then, um, I think, is this Tierkop on our, on our right hand side? Somehow, I have a feeling this is too close to be Tierkop. Groenkop is, is way over the edge, way over the ridge over there. This might not be Tierkop. Tierkop might be behind this one, I think. Is it Pitsekop or there's some other kop around here? Jansekop. Yeah, no, so it's some, yeah. Pitsekop. Yeah, I don't know where that is. That's, that's behind the one that I'm looking at at the moment. Okay. All right. But here we go. Nice open view. Okay, we've come up the hill from the um, from the bottom over there. Uh, this was actually a, a long detour. This is the shortcut. If we had taken, there we are, asked the boss, and he said we're going right and then left and then right again. Um, if we had taken the left path, we would have come out here. It would have been slightly shorter. Um, I think cutting directly across the railway line. We've, we've walked around the railway horseshoe bend um, on the path that we've just done. And then the way forward here is um, where they've worked on the road. Caution, falling rock and somebody is not accepting any responsibility and we're doing it at our own risk. And what else do we have here? Yeah, entering at own risk and all the good stuff. You can read that in your own time. 
Is he Lung Kisu? It's a disclaimer. Anyway, so here we go. I'm trying to pick up the sound as well yeah. of the waterfall to the left and to the right. Yeah, to the left is a little bit of water running. I'm going to actually just pan that side and down a bit. And then we go back slowly. I must try not to move my head because that's perspective to the sound. There we go. Okay, it's about 10 to 10 and there's the damn wall. We're trying to spot a way to get down into the valley to have a swim in the river down there. Yeah, sure. This might be a way down. Yeah, I don't know. 5 to 10 and the water level is very low Woo! Where is the, wheel? Oh, the wheels on our left hand side coming up there's some steps going up now to the wheels and we've got and sound of the water there well we've got a sort of a swim so getting to it is another story oh yeah here's the Okay. Here are the wheels if you want to uh, take you photographs. Stick? I've got the stick. I want to. Um, is there any way I can slip down here? No. Okay. Oops. There you go. There you go. There's one wheel. You've got some more wheels on your oh, left hand right. side. Yes, I'm going to. Oh, they actually turn. Yes. Wow. I want to get the mic now. And I want to do maybe a sound or maybe a video. Now hold the phone. Yeah, just be aware you're on some gratings with some holes oh, in it, so yeah, don't, don't drop, drop anything. Don't you can step forward onto some cement again if, if you want to. I should be fine. I'm going to tie this. Do you mind me if I record you recording? You, you can do that. Yeah, I just okay. don't want to get you in the video. I'm okay. going to probably take a video, but I'll warn you. Okay, thanks. And then I will turn the other way and... I want the sound of the water in the background, so yeah, if I turn, I'll turn the other way. Yeah. Uh, I want to explain to Dean and the others what I want to Carl is getting some binaural um, earphones out. He's got microphones on his earphones, one on one side, one on the other side, to get some stereo recording of the sounds around him. And he's plugging it into his iPhone. Als je hier gestaan hebt, heb je die water daar gestopt. Oh nou, dat kan niet. Over dat je twee bij elkaar komt. Je moet je wat zo maken, en dan kan je daar je niet wat zo maken. Ja. Dat je nodig hebt. Hoe is dit het waar? Dan is het een wijk. Dan is het een wijk. Het water heeft gestopt. Bij dat je nodig gedeelte. Oké, ik ga een video, ja? 
Okay. I'll stay behind you yeah. and just if I turn with you. Yeah, yeah. If I swing around, I want to get the water that you? side, but I mustn't turn. Sure. Okay, I'm going to just uh, put voice over off, then I'm going to explain to uh, people. Okay, we're at the old garden root dam, and I've got this wheel. Um, I don't know what these, they open the sluice gates or something. So it's an old rusty wheel, and then in the background you can hear the water. Um, I'm going to actually swing around left slowly, and then that's probably the dam, and then we're going to move across here. It's a railing. And sound of the water. I'm standing into the wind a bit. We've got binaural microphones on. So you're getting the full sound and stereo image of what exactly what I'm hearing. The wind is going to be a bit of a problem, but yeah. Okay. okay. There's a little bit of wind in, as I turn, but that's fine. That should okay. be the trick. What do you think the chances are I might get that audio file from you or that video from you and include it in my video? video? Yes, yes. And I'll, uh, what happens with the video is it's a bit soft. So oh, I'll yes. put it through the audio figs yeah, yeah. and you get perfect nice audio. I'm going to try and, I'll, what I'll do is I'll reduce the bass on that one so you don't get the wind as bad. It's got a bit of a wind reduction feature. Sounds good. But um, only for, because there's no real bassy sounds here we need to capture. Okay. Um, Thanks, I'll appreciate that. Yeah, your bag. No, I'll send you that because that's a video. I hope I got everything in shot. I think you did. I, I was looking over your shoulder and it looked fine. Yeah. And the wheel, I've got a nice squeak and rotate of it there. Yes, so yes. That's, that's, yeah, so Dean can hear. I think they open sluice gates. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, well, we don't know. None valves, of us know. Valves, something, yeah. waterway. Okay. <sighs> okay, we got the old garden root dam. And I've got this wheel. Um, I don't know what these, they open the sluice gates or something for the dam. So it's an old rusty wheel and then in the background you can hear the water. Um, I'm going to actually swing around left slowly and then that's probably the dam and then we're going to move across here. There's a railing and let's go across there. There's water down there. And the sound of the water, I'm standing into the wind a bit. We've got binaural microphones on. So you're getting the full sound and stereo image of what exactly what I'm hearing. The wind is going to be a bit of a problem, but yeah. There we go. Yeah. Safe there, and then we just before we get in the water, we yeah. really have a spot there. Okay, we are uh, contemplating how to get down to the river. Looks like a nice big pool that we can swim in down there. Um, there's a looks like the way we we in, there are two ways to do it, but the way that we're going to try to do it is from here where I'm standing. There's an open patch in the path along which we came up to the wall, and. From that open patch it looks as gradual as it's going to get down through the bushes just straight down to the river and then we make our way to the pool down here um, looks like Carl Haynes is going to Ricky that for us um, we'll follow him shortly and then we'll see whether that actually pans out because there isn't a path there it's Bundu bashing I haven't got my long pants here. Um, I should have, but I forgot. <laughs> anyway, so here we go. Five past ten. This is the way down uh, that Carl's, Carl Haynes has taken down. Um, he's about already a quarter of the way down. It's, he hasn't been at it for five minutes already, so this looks doable. Um, Sheldon and Ben are still on the dam wall over there at the sluice wheels. And uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. I'll just mark my GPS here.
There we go. Alright, so I'm going down as well. You guys scooting. Um I'm all I'm I'm standing upright still. Okay, but, but I can. you can scoot. Okay. I've just got to follow more or less so it's not exact path. No, it's not an exact path. And we're gonna have footsteps. Yeah, we're going to zigzag back and forth. Okay. This is Bundu bashing. At a gradient. Just watch the snakes. Yeah, yeah. They will probably move. Coming up to you is easier. Yeah, coming up is generally easier than going down. Can I come? Oh, yeah. yeah, just follow my voice. Yeah. It's pretty much straight down from where you are. Oops. Oh, there's a little oh, there we go. Oh, bad. Okay. <laughs> right. And then we're going generally down there. I'm not going to record the whole thing down the hill here. Okay. I want to save some battery for the way back home, perhaps. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Okay, quarter past 10, we're doing well down the hill, we took a, a wrong turn. It was my fault. No, it was my fault, I was in front. <laughs> and we followed Carl, it's his fault, other Carl. Um, and we turned to the right over here, which is doable, but according to our spies on the wall over there, they indicated we need to go to the left here. It's a lot more open as well, okay. so it's easier going. And as a landmark, there's a dead tree over there in front and it gets a little bit more bushy on our right hand side so we want to stick to the left. Yeah, here we go. Nothing funky to really warn you about. It's okay, just no, sticks and grass. And yeah. And if I'm not happy, I sit down. Yes, okay. do that. And the then... We are on a, on a ridge here oh with yeah, a so drop off, so we need to, we're not right on the ledge, oh, okay. Okay. okay, but we need to <laughs> zigzag our way yeah. Where they towards the left over here. Yeah, getting close to that water. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, quite a lot down here, I've got to be careful. Yeah. When you're on that level, then you can stand up and come across horizontally this oh, way. Yeah, yeah. And then when you get to these rocks, then the thing should be more easily visible which way to go. Okay, there, zigzag down there, and across down there to the pool. Off past 10 and what a pretty spot, yeah. nicely shaded just under the dam wall and here's our swimming pool. Carl Haynes is already getting in on the other side. I'm not going to take my camera into water, I had a bad experience with water and camera last weekend at Kaimans. So, um, This is what it looks like.
We are at the stream below the old George Dam garden route dam, the old one. There's a nice pool where we just swam, a little rapid which I walked down to get to the pool and I'm standing sort of next to the stream and to my left is another, I guess a rapid as well. I'm not too sure how much of the dam wall will be in the video but we climb down. I'm going to pan around a little bit that way up there and yeah and please note this, the audio on this video is in full binaural stereo. I have stereo microphones so you can hear the rapid to my left and to my right as I'm standing down. I've got the fa phone facing forward. I'll just tilt the phone a bit to the left to that one. Try and keep my head still. Send the phone to the right. And there we go. Uh, 5 to 11. Um, the water was a little bit colder than last weekend. Uh, we had some good rain. Well, not good rain, but we had some rain yesterday evening. Um, this pool is a bit tricky to swim in. There are some rocks, um, sharp rocks all over the place. Uh, and you can't really see where they are. You have to feel your way around. It's, for me personally, it's not just about jumping in and having a dive and swimming your way across. I have to feel where the rocks are, otherwise I bump my knees and my toes and it's just sore and uncomfortable. But um, it's a good pool to just sit and chill, relax, uh, especially on a hot day, this would be a perfect picnic spot. Um, yeah, lots of fun. Quarter past 11, um, we're moving up from the pool, heading to those water pipes over there, that dead tree, and then going up the incline. Right, uh, going on to half past 11. I'm on the top of the wall again, just having a look at where we've been and yeah yeah there are the guys on the road i can't really see it on my on my tiny little screen here but i think they're just above my finger in the screen and it's pretty much straight down from there Heading for that dead tree on the further side of that first ridge and then you zigzag your way across those ridges past the water pipes down onto those rocks down there and then Carl and I camp there in that shaded spot just where the water runs into the pool. Yeah, this works. This this can be done again on a hotter day. Nice picnic. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Ready when you are. It's a good echo across there. Want to try another one? Awesome. 20 post 12 and shortcut shortcut we, we did that we did that one yeah this morning so we're going to take shortcut up the hill here across the railroad um, beautiful day absolutely beautiful day clear skies not too hot it's warm but it's not too hot what did I say? 20 past 11? Yeah, here we are. So, just across the way here. I'm not going to stop the recording now. Both coming in from the right hand side. We're following the footpath to the left. See, here's the horseshoe bend. Goes around that. This morning we walked around the bottom. 
on the outside of the bend. Now we're cutting across. Okay, and then we're going across over there on that little path into the forest. Yeah, enter it and risk and all that. Please re refrain from walking, running, or cycling. We walking. We're not allowed to walk here. Get that. Get that. Where? Where is it? No walking allowed here. We may crawl, but we're not allowed to walk. We may fly, but we're not allowed to walk. Right, there's the other one. And then, what we got? Coming in from the right hand side again, we're going down to the left. Cool. Stay in the cool, stay in the stay in the shade. Yeah. That that thing there it ends up taking you to the bottom railway line. Yeah. 25 past 11 and here we are on the opposite end of the railway, Horseshoe. And cutting straight across, back down into the forest. Now, what would you estimate the, or the diameter of that horseshoe? A horseshoe bend. 300 meters? Uh, no, not that much. That's, no, so that's a, you. It's actually a tight train. It's, it's for a train, it's tight. Yeah, that's why they don't, yeah. I'd say about... Yeah, 100. Yo. Perhaps not even. That's tight for a train. It's very tight. I mean, the may that the 34 class diesels come up here, and they mainline low because I'm quite surprised their triple axles do. Mm -hmm. I'm just okay. It's not the way that we've walked now. I'm just yeah. thinking and trying axle, to estimate yeah. my as the crow flies straight across. Yeah, that's what I'm I'd, thinking. I'd that say that diameter is about 100. Yeah, that's not much. So mm. it would be so awesome to stand on a high point and when a big train comes around, you not or send up a drone. Yeah. Four ways, five ways. Uh, going on to Hofbost and here's the confluence of all the different paths. This morning we came up from there and we went along this one here on the right hand side. Long way around the outside of the horseshoe bend. And now we took the shortcut coming back here on the left hand side coming in. Going that way. Here's another turn off, I don't know where that goes. Half past, not very far down the road, that's the way we've come. Here's a intersection, this looks like a fire break of some kind. And there's a water bottle, somebody left behind. And we're just carrying on, carrying on straight down the hill. 25 to 1, and here's the turn off shortcut to Pepsi Pools. And just carry on. And then shortly, just down the road here, there's the borehole on our left hand side as we approach it from the top here. And that cylindrical cement structure on the right hand side. And just before you get to that cylinder, there's a turn off to the right, and that's the way home. Easy to miss if you don't know what to look for. Carryfish, was it? Carryfish. Carry, yeah. Yeah, but it's a Swiss stockfish. There's some other hikers coming up, and there's our borehole. There's a cylinder, some main structure, pointed out properly. Yeah, I think that's it, and this is the way home. Okay, elephant both coming down the hill. This is quarter to one. So this is the elephant, elephant both crossing and going straight home still. Quarter past one, and we're back at the three-way splits. Left way goes up the hill, 
across the railway tracks. Middle way is just following some water pipelines. It's not really a, a hiking trail or a path. And then coming out here is where we've been. And shortly up ahead again, turn off to the right. Straight ahead is the way of confusion. Go there if you want some adventure. We just want to go home. Twenty post one. And here's the rejoinder from the way of confusion. The adventurous route. And we're going right up the hill. To the Edelweiss Fukushima split again. There we go, Fuk Fukushima and Edelweiss going home that way. Going on to 25 past one, and we've just heard a, a baboon bark here in this bush over here somewhere. Perhaps we'll see them. There they go, there's one. Another one, another one, I count three, four of them. Some more down the down the railway line, scooting up the, scrambling up that embankment, that cutting over there. <laughs> okay, so there's, there's one over there. Let's see if I can, I'll have to zoom in. That one's sitting down, looking at me now, probably because I was pointing at it. Minding its own business, not particularly concerned with these, uh, these humans staring at it. I believe that is the alpha might be. Might be the alpha, yeah. Over what's going on here. Going to half past one. Here we are. Done and dusted. Top of 9th Avenue again. Dinnerwurt. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and good night.